Hey, Ryan Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover just some information here with the harvester and the keywords. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot when you look at it, but in this little section right here, there is a lot of powerful and useful information that I think a lot of people don't understand how it works so they don't use it. And so they're missing out on a lot of things. Now, the first obvious thing here to talk about is the M button here, this merge button. I'm not going to talk about it first. Um, we're going to talk about it probably last. In fact, I might not even talk about it in this video at all. Depends on how long I get long winded. It's really a video by itself. But so this box up here is called the footprints or platforms uh, box keywords. Uh, a lot of people call it different things. Um, I think in one version of Scrapebox, it actually had a footprints naming here. And so what this does is we can put in, like, for example, let's put in site um, Wikipedia. And so then I could put in car down here, right? If I harvest, what I'm going to get is a list of car related words from the site of Wikipedia. Now we can click down here. There's some ones that... Um, are, are in the list and this list is generated based on ones that you enter it's not like a pre-populated list I think it actually starts empty so whatever you enter up here and then harvest with gets saved down here automatically but what all it's happening is this box so it's this top row box plus whatever you choose here plus this gets combined together into a footprint and used on Google so let me show you if I harvest for this right here and I just set results to one, for example, um, let's just do five, it's easy. And I'm gonna start harvesting and run Google. And it works the same for every engine. You can see the keyword here, site, keyword, wikipedia.org, car, and we get our five results and we close out of here. And it's here, and I like to show you in um, a browser just because it is easier. But a lot of people don't understand that Scrapebox doesn't actually do the scraping. It just is literally like using a browser. It's actually seen as a browser by Google and all the rest. And it just goes through and gets all this information much faster than you can and digs much deeper than you are willing to usually and then compiles it all here in a matter of seconds. And so we can see Wiki, Wiki, the wiki URL with car, history of the automobile. We can say the same thing here. Wiki URL car, history of the automobile. It's the same thing. Now, if I go over here in Scrapebox and choose, since I did custom footprint, nothing gets added. Custom footprint means this box here plus this box here combined, which is what we see, site, Wikipedia org plus car. And so that's how we get our URLs. If I choose platforms and click a platform, for instance, I'm just going to here and do WordPress blog because that's popular. Now we're combining this plus this platform footprint, plus this. And if we harvest, we can actually see that. And look here in our, if we roll over this, we can see it's bringing up different WordPress platforms. And we can see it here, sitewikipedia.org, which we saw, plus powered by WordPress, plus leave a reply, which is our footprint for WordPress, plus the word car. So we smashed in between these two things here, Powered by WordPress, leave a reply and speak your mind. These footprints are already built into Scrapebox. It's telling Google that it wants these footprints because those are going to return, in this case, WordPress URLs. And so that's how that kind of all combines together. So you might, if you understand that, all it's doing is the same thing as a browser. So if you don't understand, if you're not getting the results you want, then go in a browser and type all this stuff out. But this is really handy because I can do this and now I can type in car, truck, boat, green. And it's going to go through here and look for all of these different things. So it's going to first give me sitewikipedia.org and then car and then sitewikipedia.org truck. So whatever's here gets smashed on the front of every single one of these things. So it's just like if I were to put it here. And I can do that actually. I can go in here and put this right here. and just clear this out and do custom footprint and put nothing up here. And this will be the exact same results as if I put it up here. So don't feel like you have to use this footprints box. What this footprints box does is take anything here, smash it on the front and away you go. And that's the same thing. If I do this in a browser, I'm going to get the same results. So there's my boating results. And here is my results for Actually, let's get rid of everything but boat, just because that's what we just did. Here is my results for boat. 
and I've got my five results, close out, and here it is, boat, list of boat types, same thing over here, boat, list of boat types. So it's important to understand that Scrapebox is exactly like doing it in the browser because it is seen as a browser. It's important to understand that this box, this line, plus this line, plus this line are all merged together, and you can skip this line altogether and just put everything down here in the keywords box. In fact, I'm not going to talk about it in this video because it's gone too long, but this merge button, I will put a link down below to Scrapebox FAQ where I have it, and I can actually just show you so you know what you're looking for. If we go to the Scrapebox FAQ, which is just an old site I have but still has lots of valuable information, and type merge on the search box, we can see how do I use tokens with the M merge option, and it tells you how to use that. And ultimately, all you're doing is taking footprints you have, like sitewikipedia.org, or anything you want, and they can be complex, and you're using this to merge them all in down here. So there's just a lot of options here. If you want to do custom platforms, you can, or if you want to use your own footprints, you can, but don't get confused or burdened down or overloaded by all of that, because if it's simpler, and especially if you're new, I would just start by putting everything in the keywords box. Build your whole thing, build your whole footprint. Put whatever you want in site here. You can put your in title in here, in title green, boat, and then you can put site, Wikipedia. If you don't know what all this is, practice in your browser. You just put it over here and go to Google in your browser, and when you find the results you want in your browser, you'll get the same results in Scrapebox. So I can search here and I get back results here from Wikipedia and then I can search here in Scrapebox and get back the exact same results as in a browser. So tinker in the browser. Once you understand it, you come over here and you put it in Scrapebox and get your same results right here with beautiful pea green boats and green water navy and beautiful pea green boat and green water navy. And so that's just a little explanation on the different platform uh, diff three different lines here in Scrapebox and how they all combine together to make your platform but remember simple is good and if it doesn't make sense be simple put everything in the keywords box if you want to know what I do I absolutely never use this and I absolutely never use this because I have all of my own platforms I only do custom footprint and I just smash everything in to the keywords box I do use the merge function but I put it all here because it's simple I can see the whole thing at once and then I get I know exactly what I'm getting. And that is how you can use the Harvester keyword section to your advantage by understanding it. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.